Welcome! In this series of videos, we will cover the design and implementation of a project from initial design through coding and development to testing using both the PowerBasic console and Windows compilers. Today, we will look at an introduction to projects. Creation of a project is a bit like solving a puzzle. It may have many parts which all need to fit together seamlessly to allow the outcome of the project to function correctly. You will need time to think about the design of your project, looking at it from different angles to allow you to fully understand what is needed to deliver it successfully. Traditionally, the design of computer systems and software was done in great detail at the beginning of a project. This left the actual coding to be done after. More recently, projects tend to be done in a more agile manner with an iterative approach to design and development. However, regardless of which way you wish to develop, there still needs to be some thought to the design of what you are going to build before you write the first line of code. Much has been said about making computer systems intuitive to allow users to use them easily. However, it is worth remembering that a system can only be intuitive if it resembles in some way something that the user has already been familiar with. When you look at a modern Windows desktop, remember that it only looks like that because before people had computers, they used to sit at desks and look down at what sat on top of the desk. It's no coincidence that the icon for the recycle bin looks like a physical bin or a trash can, as that was what people were used to using. Also, prior to computers, everything was done on paper and kept in folders and filing cabinets. So when designing your project, consider just how much of an intuitive leap a user will need to make to use your system effectively. On a final note, many programs still use an icon of a floppy disk to allow users to load and save files. This is despite a whole generation of users that may never have seen one of these. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.